Tosifur Rahman, what is so difficult to understand in what Meeta Chakrabarti or the Supreme Court of India is saying? I ask you this question because West Bengal's chief minister is a woman. Till today, she was India's only chief minister. Now we have a second one, Atishi. Now, she didn't become chief minister of West Bengal by saying, I will not do more than 12 hours. She didn't become chief minister of West Bengal by saying that I will not go out and travel at night or do dharnas at night. Right? Shriya, she is a woman Shriya, chief absolutely. minister. She is she is climbed up the ranks. For someone like her to, I mean, I understand a knee jerk reaction, but that knee jerk reaction was criticized when it came. Right? You remember when the notification came? All of us criticized it. And yet, no, till the Supreme Court tells you to, you don't want to withdraw it. No, no. You see, Shriya, I mean, whatever the points uh, Meeta, ma'am, or you are making, it makes sense. I mean, you cannot run behind this. But, uh, you know, see, it's just not a move. It was a concern. But at the same time, we need to understand the concern and we need to respect the dignity of female doctor as well. I mean, and now the judge has shown some concern. We will definitely look into it and something better will come up for sure. I mean, I see no place to politicize the issue as such. And there are some demands to avoid the night shift as well from different families as well. But again, end of the day, the Honorable Supreme Court has shown concern, which is notified by the state government and by the state lawyer. And, you know, something better will come up. I mean, of course, I mean, this particular law or Ratir Shati points is not something to demean the woman's dignity. It is absolutely a concern. And if there is something subsidized to change this so point, is, I'm not talking about state demeaning a woman's a dignity. Better action, Shreya. A better Tasi, action will be taken. Two things. I agree with two things. You said uh, you uh, okay, two things. Two things. You said let's not politicize the issue. The point is if I had to politicize the issue, I would have called someone from the BJP. I didn't. So my no, intent is I, not to politicize the issue, right? Secondly, you are saying, second, you are saying that 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 there is a certain concern behind this. I understand the concern, but is this how a state responds? The state is supposed to say, okay, there was a mistake made. The security wasn't enough. The first thing we are going to do is ensure that all hospitals in the state of West Bengal are so safe that women can do what they want to do, whether it is morning, evening or night. That is the response we expect from state governments because otherwise it is a bit like saying that women get raped, are unko kapde dhang se bahar pen ke jana chahiye ya raat ko jana hi nahi chahiye. It is that same mentality, that feudal mentality, the khap panchayat mentality that we talk about in Haryana. Now that is not something we expect in the state of West Bengal. But Dr. Veena Kumari Singh, as a doctor yourself, Tosif is telling me, look, that notification that came in asking for no night shifts for women, saying that women will not, will, women will not work for more than 12 hours in hospitals came out of a sense of concern. Is this a concern? that can actually end up backfiring at women doctors and women in general. So, hi everyone. This is not at all a concern. It is just an escapist attitude that there has been a crime which has been committed. The government is not able to control the situation. So, they are coming up with absurd solutions. A woman who is not allowed to do night duty, think about a trainee a trainee who gets to operate emergency cases in the night, who gets to see the emergency medical cases when he or she uh, when she is on the night duty. So she will be uh, not seeing these cases. She will be uh, not managing these cases. Her, her training would be not be complete. And think about later one on when his training, uh, her training is complete. She won't be hired by, say, some corporate hospitals or maybe the private hospitals, because they will think that one who is not available during the night shift, how are they going to work? So it mm -hmm. is like cutting the female doctor's right in all the possible ways. This is not a solution, rather a more damage. It is again one of the crimes. If a candidate, if a postgraduate student training is not given enough exposure, especially during the emergency duties, then the training is not at all complete. So this is just escapist attitude of the government. Mm. You understand? 